Good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you are. I hope everybody's doing great and taking care of yourselves and staying healthy. Uh, this is Marianne. Uh, today is a new day. Uh, today we shall be discussing a new topic. I hope you've had the chance to look at my previous videos uh, where I have laid a, a, a foundation to show you the fundamentals of why I believe in cryptocurrency and why I would encourage all my friends and family to study and be aware of what is going on. Uh, like you know, this is a revolution taking place. We are in the middle of it. So if you miss the opportunity to invest in Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and all that stuff, this is your opportunity uh, to grasp what is happening and take advantage of the new revolution. Getting scared and not uh, learning about it will harm you. You will miss out and you will feel bad about it when everybody else is taking advantage, getting rich and famous and free, you know? We all want to be free financially and retire early. So this is your opportunity and I'm gonna explain why I believe so much that you should invest in cryptocurrency. I've already told you why I invested. So this is your opportunity to know why you should. I do hope you're taking notes. Uh, I'm sharing quite some information for new people, beginners, uh, several nomenclature or new words that you need to look up. And I've also been giving you um, uh, direction on where to go and study. So hopefully you're caught up in your study and you're continuing to understand the terms that are, are utilized in this industry. That way you can be able to um, get it and go along and understand more. So continue studying and take notes. So why should you invest in crypto or cryptocurrency and the blockchain? The reason is that um, this opportunity is an equal opportunity equalizer. So cryptocurrency does not matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you're from. Anybody and everybody can participate. So this is the first opportunity that anybody who, who can invest a little bit can get a whole lot. So it's an op equal opportunity equalizer. Uh, you are able to get uh, profits uh, from investing in crypto. You buy low and sell high and you take profits. So you can be able to take profits and be able to change your life and invest in something that you're not able to do uh, using your salary or using what you're doing right now. So that is one way. Uh, it, uh, crypto has allowed a lot of people to retire early. Those who got in early uh, were, have been able to retire early. So I wish I had also known about it long time ago. And I, but I didn't, but you start where you are. We all start where you are. When you learn about it, that is where you start, you know, and uh, you st start from there. So it can be able to help you to retire early. It can help you to change the direction of yourself and your family financially. And you know, I know money is not everything, but money will help you solve a lot of problems. It will give you freedom. It will help you do things that you have not been able to do uh, with your salary, okay? So it can change the direction of your life, your family, and you are able to also leave a legacy. Uh, so personally, I've been able to buy a piece of land in my country, Kenya, and I'm farming right now. So I know I will not have been able to do that using my salary uh, because as you know, uh, credit availability is limited in Africa and for most people, you have to buy what you are buying cash. So to get a lot of money and put it down all at once, you need to have an, uh, an opportunity that allows you to do that. And I'm grateful that I was able to do that. So you too can do something outside uh, what you're able to do with your salary. Uh, so I would encourage you all and also your children, don't buy into the old uh, adage of uh, study, go to college, get a job and retire at 65. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You can get a side hustle outside your work, invest a small amount that that you can afford to lose. Don't put all your life savings in crypto for goodness sake. 
only invest what you can afford to lose that way it's a very speculative market It's very volatile it's risky so only invest what you can afford to lose so you can say every week you can put in a, a, a few dollars uh, maybe twenty dollars give up your starbucks or give up that extra shoe or handbag that you don't need or extra clothes that you don't need and purchase uh, as a cryptocurrency and when it pumps and doubles your profit uh, take your initial investment and let the rest ride uh we call what you what you invest every week we call it dollar cost average that means you are committing to uh to invest a small amount every week or every month or every two weeks uh that way you are continuously investing whether it's up or down so that when it's up when it is down uh, uh, averages out so you're not investing more than you can afford to lose so that is what people call dollar cost average so you can afford to uh, sacrifice a few things here and there and invest continuously and you you can change your life like that crypto is about catching the opportunity the right opportunity at the right time so this is the right time for crypto really uh it could have been better if we all knew about it when bitcoin was invented but this is our opportunity we know about it now so invest what you you can afford to lose and these other coins that are also available outside bitcoin and those are called altcoins so anything that is not bitcoin is actually referred to as an alternative coin uh, most crypto people will call it altcoins so don't get confused uh when you hear about altcoins so the right number of coins to invest is however you can afford i mean if you can afford to lose a hundred dollars every month then you can choose a, a crypto coin that you can invest in that you believe in first of all no, do your own research understand what you're buying the top 10 crypto coins most people call them the blue chip coins those have the less less least risk of of uh, failure they have established themselves they have a high market uh, value and a lot of people believe in them so they have a less risk to lose so you can invest those if your risk tolerance is low however if your risk tolerance is high for those who are already in the crypto world you already know what to do so i'm only talking to the beginners uh, uh first invest in the ones that are less uh likely to lose that way you are comfortable with your investment uh learn the fundamentals of blockchain that is very important because um a lot of negative sayers or the naysayers are going to talk you out of it you know they're going to throw water on crypto and you're going to get discouraged but if you have your thinking hat on you will be able to understand where the future is going uh if you are looking at the people that i'm sharing with you you can listen to them and understand where crypto is going so by now i'm sure everybody is aware bitcoin is going nowhere it's here to stay so that's a safe investment be willing to sacrifice some time to study so i'm doing this for free by the way you don't i don't get paid to share uh information i don't get paid to uh refer you to anybody they don't pay me so this is um is a uh, time for you to study and share so if i'm willing to share with you share this information with somebody else that is not familiar with what is going on so it will it will help if also you left a comment so i know that you are getting it or that you appreciate the information or if you have any contribution be free to leave it in the comments that will help so be willing to sacrifice uh, time and money and uh, you will be happy with what you're doing so for the minority especially blacks in america we've experienced enough discrimination at all levels so cryptocurrency is one way in which uh, we can participate and also at which we we will not be discriminated you know in the past uh, there has been discrimination in getting into schools certain schools uh, there's gerrymandering there's redlining 
the voting system is biased they've made sure that they're trying to vote against allowing the black community or black community areas to vote you know so in such cases blockchain is going to solve all these problems you see so if we understand why blockchain then we shall really take advantage of what is going on and also invest in the opportunity right now as it happens you all know that uh, also the black community credit access has been limited and most of the people have lost their uh, investments because they have not had access to uh, fair credit for example the black farmers in the past they lose, lost all their farms uh, because they, they were not given access to credit so most of them had to sell their farms and that's why the farming community in agriculture in the U.S., for example, has continued to dwindle and almost uh, disappear. It's because the credit access was denied. So that is one disadvantage of the current system. The current financial system has been discriminating, discriminate, I can't even say that word, it's been discriminating against us. So cryptocurrency and blockchain is going to solve that problem. Also, we have been uh, discriminated against when it comes to representation in government and almost all major corporations. So if we participate in this industry, we shall not even need jobs. Why? Because we shall be able to earn crypto and not have to work for anyone. So that is one opportunity that we need to be aware of. You can be able to make massive income if you get in in the right uh, um, project in cryptography and you won't need a job. So that problem will be solved. Remember, we are usually the last to hire and the first to fire. So <laughs> with cryptocurrency, we shall not need to be looking for jobs. And in fact, for most of you in the diaspora like me, we, most people won't need to come abroad to study or to live or to get um, the dollar, you know, because we shall be earning what everybody else is earning while back home. So since crypto is available to everybody everywhere, as long as you have the internet, you can participate in your village back home and be able to access the same amount of currency as everybody. So Bitcoin is an equal opportunity. Everybody will be earning the same Bitcoin. There will be no USD, Kenya shilling, peso, and all that stuff. If everybody is earning Bitcoin, we can trade in dollars, you know, or just participate. If the country and banking system allows Bitcoin, then we pay our stuff in Bitcoin. So it is an equalizer. So I hope you understand that. Uh, remember, cryptocurrency does not care who you are. It doesn't care what you what color you are so black white uh, brown doesn't matter it doesn't care where you're from asia south america mexico africa europe it does not matter it doesn't care what age you are so remember like in the banking system you have to be 18 and above and i think some countries you have to be 21. in cryptocurrency you can sign up your child as soon as they are born or before as soon as they are born actually and you can participate at any age, you know, at seven years, whatever. As long as you have internet, you can open up an account for your children. And as long as they understand how to operate their accounts, they're good to go. So the limiting factor of saying oh, you have to be 18 and above or 21 to open a bank account, that is not going to be there. So that is one fair thing. It doesn't matter what sex you are. Remember, the opportunities have been limited between males and females. Sometimes we find that women don't get equal opportunity as men. So, but with crypto, everybody can participate. Doesn't matter what you are. It doesn't reflect. As long as you have a wallet, you have a wallet address, you can trade. You can request funds from anybody. It also doesn't matter your marital status, whether you're single, married, doesn't matter whether you are divorced or whatever, it doesn't matter. So it's an equal opportunity. It doesn't matter whether you're educated or not. As long as you can read numbers and as long as you can operate a wallet, doesn't matter whether you went to school. So you can imagine what's going to happen in future. If maybe 10 year olds are able to trade or 
create uh, non-fungible tokens, which they are calling NFTs, if they can sell them online, I'm not sure that they'll want to go to college. So maybe college is overrated. I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you to decide whether you want to buy into that system. So it doesn't matter your education level. It doesn't matter your income. So like uh, most places, to open a bank account, you have to prove that you have a monthly income. The, to get a credit uh, line, you have to show your monthly income. If you have a business, you have to show, you know, the audits. You have to show how much income you're getting. Crypto does not care. As long as you, you have the money, uh, participate. Everybody is welcome. So these are some of the things that I believe are going to be very advantageous. And uh, cryptocurrency is changing the world and it's about to revise or uh, revolutionize the current system, which is, I would say, is a cake right now. <laughs> really, it's too discriminatory, it's too biased, and it's not fair to most people, you know. Everyone can participate, and I mean everyone. As long as you have internet from any corner of the world, you are good to go. So I hope this gives you a clue as to why you should participate. I know why I am participating and you should too. So uh, get more information. Like for the black community, for example, there is a guy that is doing good uh, videos. and He invested in crypto. Actually, he invested in Bitcoin in 2013, just one year after it launched. Uh, Isaiah Jackson, and he has written a book called The Black Community, um, Crypto Bitcoin for the Black Community. You can get it on Amazon. Just look for Isaiah Jackson. He also has a YouTube channel uh, called Community Crypto. So he does uh, have videos where he talks about crypto with various people. Just Google or go online and for YouTube and look for his videos, Isaiah Jackson. He is, um, he's a great teacher. So I hope this helps uh, for the beginners. Remember Andrea and Antonopoulos and also uh, for my regulars, uh, I do follow Elio Trades and I will continue sharing more people that I follow. I don't listen to one person because one person can make a, um, can call, a, a, a can, can make a call on a coin that is, that has that he has been paid to do and uh, that means he's biased so what i try to do i listen to more than 10 youtubers that i respect and that way i can make uh, an informed decision so i would encourage you to first of all understand the basics understand the fundamentals that way when they talk about something it makes sense to you and you can make your own conclusion without following blindly so I listen to a variety of people uh, with variety of personalities. And um, I find that most of the ones I listen to agree on the same thing. And sometimes they do have panels. So for my minority, the black community, I think you will really like Isaiah Jackson because you can relate to him. I like people that I can relate to and they make sense to me. So those are two people that I would like to you to I would encourage you to go to uh, the African community. I talked yesterday about Cardano. Cardano is a project that is working with the African countries. So I'm kind of biased towards Cardano. And the developer, his name is uh, Charles Hoskinson. So just go look those up and find out what's going on. So till next time, we'll talk about something different. Have a good evening, good night, or good morning, wherever you are. Thank you. Share this information, make a comment, and also uh, remember to study.